So we have this birch log that is probably, I didn't write a date on it, but it is probably four years old. It could be getting close to um, five years old, sitting here in the shop. And I had a friend of mine that's learning um, to turn on a lathe. So I gave him one, I had two of these left and I gave him one and it turned out to be just spalted through and through the most spalting I've ever seen in a piece of wood. So I thought this would make a good video. So I'm gonna split this, get it set up on the lathe and um, see what we got. We'll get it mounted up and uh, see what we can do with it. give you an idea of where we are you can see the end grain here just really pulling out so this wood is real soft that's why I'm going really really slow doing a better job there so close more goes at it All right, that should work. We'll get it out of here and flip it around. And I'm just gonna to try to flatten this face, figure out where my top of the bowl is gonna be, where the rim's gonna be. I got a big chunk here, probably not showing up on camera, but I'm gonna to have to come down in places, probably a good solid half an inch. So we'll figure out where we are.
So it's going to be the thickness of my, of my bowl, I think. I'm going to leave it just a fraction thicker than I normally would just because this is so soft and um, just to give it a little stability while I'm turning. But I'll get up, I'll get up to there. So let's knock, knock that down. Then we'll get some polyurethane on it. We'll strengthen it up a little bit. I think I got the inside about as good as I'm gonna get. I'm gonna come back here on the outside and do some uh, final shaping. I, I noticed a little ridge right there that I missed. So do that and then I'll show you the end grain and what we're gonna do to fix it. Okay, I've got the outside pretty much as close as I'm gonna get, but I wanted to show you this end grain here and here and so you can see how pitted what it is is it's just so soft it's pulling the fibers out pulling the grain out and uh, what I'll do is I'll come in here with polyurethane clear give a good coat I'll probably just coat the whole thing so that uh, it'll strengthen everything up probably inside and out and then what I like to do on the first coat is just let it soak in as much as possible and then additional coats, this will probably take, um, I'm gonna say probably three coats. Coat number two and three, I'll put on there, but I'll dry with a hair dryer, or a heat gun rather, I mean. And then um, speed, the, speed the process up. But this first coat, I like to let it have time to soak in and, and catch the fibers and dry. So we'll do that next. The one thing that I do on these end grains is I'll reach down here and grab some dust and I'll work that in and make kind of a slurry and some of the finer dust will go down in those pits and that'll help fill everything up. You might be able to see some of the slurry starting to develop there. Okay. So I'll finish up the bowl, show you how it's finished, and be right back. So I did hit this with the heat gun a little bit to finish curing it up. Uh, I'll sand it with 120 sandpaper, blow it off real good, and make sure all the pits are filled in, the ones that are not. I'll uh, just repeat the process um, until everything's good and smooth filled in, then <clears throat> do some final sanding all the way up to 400, and kind of evaluate at that point, but I may go up a little bit higher. This is such a pretty bowl with all the spalting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to get it as shiny as I can. And um, But there's no sense in watching the video. It's just going to be rinse and repeat until I get everything sanded. So I'll bring you back once we get the uh, bowl finished and sanded. And uh, we'll start applying um, whatever finish we want to it at that time.
finished, sanded all the way up to 2000, just because it's you know such a pretty color. I want to try to get as good a finish on it as possible. There's the end grain. in the inside of the bowl. Turned out nice. So now I'll just take it off, turn it around and um, finish up the bottom, we'll be done.